So last webinar we did on, we saw number of cases, how to select the prescription. We saw how the disease evolves, what are the chances of cure, what are the chances of relief in difficult cases. Now here, after understanding the miasm, we will try to understand because potency and repetition has been always an issue with all of us. So soric phase, normally you require constitutional remedy in high potency. You don't require too many medicine. You require the right medicine. Repetition only if required. As we saw last time, the acute exacerbation requires a right acute medicine. Kent has said beautifully, epilepsy, asthma, which has got acute exacerbation, requires acute remedy. So depending upon the intensity, you have to give acute remedy in low or medium potency with frequent repetition. The tubercular phase, the erratic response requires very careful management. The acute remedy is to be given in low or medium potency with minimal repetition. You don't have to repeat the medicine that frequently. Eta current, you require always higher potency. You give it in the quiescent phase so that recurrence of the symptoms does not come. The constitutional remedy requires in medium potency or higher potency later so that the patient recovers faster. So once the quiescent phase comes, that is the time you introduce the constitutional medicine and the recovery would be very fast. Now the factors which affect the efficacy of remedy, age, the cure becomes more and more difficult with the increasing age of the patient. Previous treatment, if lot of drugs have been taken, patient will find it very difficult to manage. If a patient has not taken any suppressive line of treatment, if he is on the homeopathy, if there is original unmodified picture, it's easier to treat. Two years old, patient reports with breathlessness. On examination, the chest is full of RALS. On auscultation, there are a lot of RALS. There's a flapping of LNASI. The small flaps, they go up and down. Flapping of LNASI and rapid abdominal movement. The patient's parents were very anxious. The patient was given Antimtat 32 pills for hourly. So the patient was given Antimtat 30 and the patient started improving. Mm -hmm.